Hello everybody, Mr. Stixman here and welcome back to Stormworks. Today is going to be the start of a brand new project, but it's going to be absolutely enormous. I think the best way that I can sum this up is with three words. Ten million dollars. That's right guys, we are going to make ten million dollars, but we're not just going to get to that number in our bank account. We're going to make it in one go. Let's get started. Real quick guys, check this out. YouTube tells me that most people watching my videos are not actually subscribed. It really would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button. We are well on the way to 1,000 subscribers and it's absolutely unbelievable. It really is amazing to me. I would really, really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you so much guys and let's get on with the video. Okay, it starts here, $10 million. Let's get into our workbench and begin our new project. Right, and for this project, I've decided to build a barge. It's gonna to have to be pretty big, of course. We are gonna to have to carry a lot of weight. It's also gonna be a scale barge, which means that the, the hull itself is very, very flat, actually. Uh, but let's get started, anyway. I've actually discovered that most barges, you know, as a general rule, are about four times as long as they are wide. So of course it's not always like that, but that is the general recommendation for most barges uh, from what I gather. So what we're going to do, I reckon we'll just try and bring this back a bit. And let's say, I mean, it, you know, everything could change, right? But let's just say this is going to be 45 blocks wide. Let's just try that. There we go. So that's now 45 blocks. So we'll just test it by uh, checking on the lower right hand side of the screen and yeah it says 45 there. Now let's go up this way then and 4 times 45 is uh, 180 isn't it so let's go up this way. Right okay so I've done that and now that is yeah 45 blocks wide and 180 blocks long. So yeah let's just fill it in for the moment so we've just got a flat plane here and, uh, and then we'll work on the next stage. Now what I'm thinking of doing next is actually putting the fuel tanks just sort of in position roughly on this structure because then we can see how big they are, um, how deep they are and then we can sort of build the hull around that because of course these tanks are basically the most important part of this build. And what I've done is I've already made a fuel tank and so let me just load that in and then I'll explain everything about it. Here it is then, we've got our fuel tank and we will need three of these in total. Now it looks like we might want to make this uh, barge a bit wider actually because that's quite big isn't it? That is pretty big. <laughs> and inside I mean you can just see it's completely plain, there's nothing in here at the moment. There might be a few things inside later on but at the moment that is just an empty tank. Okay so let's find the center of the deck of the barge which is of course this big platform here and then what I'm thinking of well I've got some ideas okay first of all we could have these tanks completely under the deck like that okay and then I'm thinking of having some kind of big interior space and it will be pretty big actually where you can walk around in here and have a look at the tanks under the deck or what we could do is have these tanks slightly above deck yeah if we just uh, sort of lift it out the deck a bit not too high but maybe at the most three blocks um, that will give us a bit more room underneath. And then of course we're going to have three of these in a row along the deck. So let's find the centre of this barge here. So I've just calculated the tank is actually right in the middle in terms of the width of the barge. And about the length we'll have to figure that out in a minute. What I'm just going to do is paste it in. There we go. So now it's in and it's slightly above deck. These things can always change of course. So you know not to worry if it's not quite what we want. But I think that looked pretty cool and it will give a bit of extra detail on the deck as well right. Okay, now what I'm going to do before we uh, paste in the other two is just tidy up these edges and then recopy it just so that we don't have to do this uh, more than once. Fantastic, now we're going to just uh, merge it into the deck. Now that is all one piece, check that out. Brilliant. So I guess the next step is to actually copy this thing um, and just paste one either side. I'm not sure how wide uh, apart to have these. Um, but we probably want a bit of a gap just so we can walk between them, right? Maybe five blocks or something. So anyway, let's just copy it and, uh, and see what happens. Okay, there we are guys. So now we've got our three tanks right in the center of the deck. 
Now back here, this is where I want to have the bridge. So we're going to have the bridge right at the stern. There will probably be a bit of a platform back here actually. And you know, we could even have a helipad for example. And you know, all kinds of stuff. We could even build a helicopter. We could have cranes on it. We could have uh, room for a rib or some kind of, you know, safety boat or whatever. So there's so many options here. But they're not as important as these main key features. So let's stick with this for the moment. Now the reason why I'm thinking let's have these right in the middle is because because they're going to be very very heavy and if they're slightly towards the stern or the bow they might actually you know tip the boat a bit of course we can actually balance it out with ballasts or really heavy weights once it's full up the best way to deal with this initially is just to do the best we can um, without the extra weights and then we don't have to do too much work at the end hopefully anyway but these things because they're such you know simple shapes they're pretty easy to move around aren't they to be honest they are quite easy to move around. Anyway, let's actually now build the uh, the hull of the barge itself um, and try and, you know, think about how deep it's going to be, how wide it's going to be. And I think actually that width is pretty good, isn't it? That is a pretty good width for the moment. But let's bring this down here. Now, how far down does it actually go? Let's have a look here. 16 blocks down, which is four meters. So let's just say that we can actually walk around on this level here, like that. So, you know, we can actually come down here with a staircase or a ladder and walk around in this room, walk around the tanks. We can always repair them if we need to. So that's good. That's good to have access to it, right? Now, we can have the floor lower, of course, but that's just, you know, an initial starting point. So that might actually change. But let's bring this down here now. And I think it was about 16 blocks, wasn't it? Uh, there we go, that's 16. Is that matching up? Yep, seems to be. So let's bring that here. And we'll go all the way along until the end, basically. I'm thinking of having a flat bow, okay? Now that's not so good for long journeys, but the journey that we're going to have to make is not super long. If we actually decide to take this up to the Arctic, which guys, we could actually do. Like we could even do Arctic trips with this as well. But for the $10 million, that is nothing to do with the Arctic. So that would be a different kind of trip. And we might even change the bow into a pointed bow for that. Because for long distance barges, they do tend to use the uh, the pointy bows. But I just really feel like doing a flat bow. And it will probably give us a lot more room and space. And also, it would be much easier to build as well. So let's just say this is the, the very sort of tip of the bow. And then we're going to come down... Maybe five, actually. Let's come down five. And then we're going to bring it back using these wedges here, like this. Right down there. And then we'll just uh, chop off this part here, because we won't need that right now. And there we go. We can now see the general shape coming together. This is what we're kind of aiming for. So we might as well just fill this in, right? And, you know, if we're lacking buoyancy at any point, which could be the case, even though there's a lot of air in here, um, if we do lack a bit of buoyancy when we fill these tanks up, then we can actually add sort of, uh, you know, air, big air pockets underneath the barge here as well in a separate compartment, uh, which could help a lot. Anyway, let's just uh, fix this. I don't know what I've done here. <laughs> I've done something. I'm destroying it already. Okay, now I am going to cover this up, but I might actually, when we're building, you know, take out big chunks of the side here so we can see what's going on inside, because there'll be a lot of work to do under here as well. Um, and also, I'm considering having a bit of a, a sort of a steeper cut in here, maybe using the 2 by one wedges instead, so that we get um, a longer... Now, the buoyancy won't be as good if we do that. And also, the performance might not be as good, because uh, I think, and you guys can actually correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these one-by-one -one wedges will actually give us better speed and performance compared to the two-by-ones or the four-by-ones and that sort of thing. So maybe, because it's so big, we might want to work with the really simple one-by-one -one shapes if we can. Um, so anyway, we'll just uh, cover that bit up there for now. And I'd actually quite like to just float it in the water, you know, so we'll do that in a minute. We'll spawn it in and just have a look um, because, you know, I always like to do that just to get an idea of, you know, size and shape and all the rest of it. Right, okay, so now I've done it. I filled in all the holes and just thinking about this, right, another reason because what we can see here, these are literally the bases of the tanks. 
And if we ran aground or, you know, knocked a rock on the hull here, that's literally the tank. If that, you know, opens up, we could lose millions of dollars um, in a very small space of time. So, yeah, maybe it would definitely be helpful to either raise the tanks up or actually we probably won't do that. So what we'll probably do is have more protection under here, another layer, maybe with air pockets, you know, sort of like uh, extra buoyancy underneath. So if we do hit a rock, we're not actually going to hit the tanks directly. And also we can even climb under there and repair the bottom of the hull from inside this uh this barge as well instead of having to dive down and do it underwater where you know there are sharks and all sorts of things going on anyway let's spawn it in and hopefully uh it will float look at that that is brilliant okay it is a bit front heavy as i'd expect because we've made a cut in here um but you know there's going to be of course a big bridge um and you know sorts of superstructures all around this thing and you know it's going to level out eventually that is no problem at all and actually it does look quite flat anyway doesn't it let's jump on board then and just have a look at the sort of walking space between the tanks and all that yeah that's pretty good yeah so you can go between them really nicely uh perfect that's really really nice i'm thinking of having a big winch up here one of those 500 meter winches right at the bow um so yeah there's loads of space for that we're gonna have guardrails all the way around it of course um, we'll get onto that in a minute actually we'll start adding you know some basic shapes for superstructures maybe a few guardrails and stuff like that in a minute okay so let's take it back into the workbench and continue now i'm not actually going to build you know the the entire bridge today but what i will do is make the general shape of it on the deck i'll draw it out and uh, and just build a couple of boxes basically what i'm thinking of doing is having a room underneath on the deck level and then the next sort of level up will be the bridge so we're nice and tall and high up in the sky and we can see everything going on in front of us okay so let's just figure out here um where you know where do we want to put this superstructure well let's count some blocks in here let's just say that we're going to start here that's 13 blocks in all right this line here is in line with the tanks, the edge of the tanks as well. So I'm not sure, we might want to go a bit wider than that to be honest. Um, just to break up the shape and, and make it you know, more interesting. So we could go an extra, an extra three for example, beyond that. And just as long as we've got enough space here to walk around on. So actually let's bring that back a bit. We want to have you know, a lot of room. We want things to be nice and easy, don't we? Let's go with this for now then. We'll just take that off there. This area at the stern will probably be, um, you know, out in the open. Maybe a bit of a platform here. We could even have a platform that sort of comes off the back like this, you know. So this is not necessarily the stern, like the very back of the boat. It's just where the actual, you know, hull ends itself. And we could have platforms here uh, that extend out if we need to. But let's just not have that for now. We'll stick to, <laughs> we'll stick to what we know at the moment. I've decided to bring it back a bit because if we do have a platform here then we don't need to worry about this little area not being too sort of too large so let's bring the actual um the whole thing back a bit so there we go and maybe that will be a good sort of size and shape for the the, the room underneath our bridge right because this is going to be a room with you know stairs or a ladder which you can then go up into the bridge from here now, it's not going to look, you know, that amazing right from the start, of course. I'm just drawing boxes. The shapes will, you know, dramatically improve and change as we actually start to work on this specifically. But we're just getting an idea right at the moment. So that's going to be, oh, that's going to be like that. I'll bring the back in as well. Now, how tall do we want this to be? Well, actually, if we just go and get a door here so we can figure out the, uh, the general height that we'll need if we have a door, for example. And let's try one of these doors. So let's just say that goes, you know, here. In that case, we're going to want this room to kind of go maybe one above that, like this. Yeah, I think that's pretty good as a starting point, isn't it? And let's say this is actually the floor of our bridge here. Um, you know, this will be the next layer up, if you like, on that. And it might not be as wide, because what we could do is have some walkways outside of the bridge on either side like this so you can come outside and have a look around the side make sure you're not sort of crashing into anything like i'm you know hopefully not going to do um but th yeah this could be uh, an actual outside area with guardrails around it 
this always confuses me because if you look at this rail here, that looks diagonal to me, but that's a straight one. And that one looks straight, but it's diagonal. It's so bizarre. I just, I never understand it. But anyway, I suppose you can get used to it after a while. I haven't used these things in ages, but there we go. Let's just uh, attach that to there. Maybe extend our wall up a bit. And we'll bring these back here. Right, okay, so that's a general idea. This might change, of course, but we're just trying to generate ideas and inspiration that we can then build upon in the future. For example, we could have ladders back here, or we could have a staircase that goes back here or along the side of it. Um, you know, all that sort of thing. We'll have maybe a door, like, in this sort of space as well, on either side. And then here will be where the bridge controls are and all of that stuff. Okay, so we're going to leave that there for now. That is a really good starting point, isn't it? Um, loads of space out here. Now, what we could have around here is some kind of main pumping system for these three tanks and have the pipes going along the, the deck. But at the same time, we're going to have a big winch back here, or at the, at the bow even as well, um, which may feed into all of the tanks. So I'm not exactly sure where the pumps are going to go, but I am actually thinking of having diesel powered pumps and actually using the impellers, which we have here. So now we've got these impeller pumps, right? And we can attach a diesel engine to them and get really, really powerful pumps because it is going to take quite a long time to, uh, you know, to get this sort of fuel in and out of the barge unless we're using a lot of power. So I'm hoping to make that a really powerful system. And I'm probably going to have generators as well and, you know, all sorts of things. We'll, we'll make sure nothing can go wrong, <laughs> if possible. But a lot of that stuff will actually happen underneath here. We'll have, you know, generator rooms and pumping rooms. Uh, and also, what I'd really like to do, because, uh, you know, big fuel tanks like this, they're meant to have access hatches, which you can go inside and, you know, like maintenance hatches, you can call them probably, um, and actually climb inside. So if you have a look at, like, the real sort of, uh, you know, fluid cargo storage tanks and all that. Um, they have enormous, expansive interiors with proper, like, you know, ladders going down. They're absolutely huge. Uh, it, it's pretty amazing, to be honest. And then you can walk around inside and, and all the rest of it. So, yeah, I'm hoping to have access to actually climb inside the tanks as well. Now, as I say, um, I'd quite like to have one of those big winches up here. So why don't we just make a very basic platform to get a general idea. If we just find the winch, here it is. Here's the huge winch. It costs $5,000. That's no problem because we have a lot of money. <laughs> Look, already this barge is costing $63,000 already. And all we've done is blocks, basically. That's all we've done, you know, apart from a couple of details over there. This is going to be a very, very expensive piece of kit. Anyway, let's go over here and just chuck the winch on. Um, yeah, we'll probably have it that way, facing forwards. And then I guess we'll probably have, you know, some kind of platform around it, for example. Let's just do that. Like that. Okay, so we'll leave that there, and that's an idea. What we could actually do is move it back a bit, because, of course, if the, uh, if the barge is already a bit more heavy at the bow, we don't want to add too much weight to that. And these things, how much are they? How heavy are they? 400 so it's actually not too bad that's half the weight of one of those really big batteries that's not as heavy as i expected but it's still you know it is going to have an effect so let's just select it all and uh and bring it back a bit okay there we go so that is now back a bit and of course it might change in the future all right now looking at the stern of this thing i probably will have it cut in a bit to be honest not exactly like the bow but you know i'll make the shape a lot nicer than this because at the moment it's just a big block but i was considering powering this with uh, fluid jets actually so if we just go and get those uh here we go here's a fluid jet uh three thousand dollars each wow that's quite expensive but that's fine um, we probably need like four of them for this barge. I'm not, you know, aiming to make this thing go very fast at all. Uh, it, that really is not an issue to me. You know, if it goes sort of, um, sort of eight knots, ten knots, twelve knots, that's perfect uh, in this case, I think. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we'll have four of these. Um, and that should be quite interesting. If not, we'll go with propellers, of course. But uh, if I just stick them down here as a reminder for us... 
Okay, there we go. So maybe something like that, right? Um, that will definitely change a bit. But it's just uh, serving us as a reminder for next time when we actually start working on those properly. That's pretty cool, though. That is pretty cool. At the bow here as well, um, I might choose to have a bow thruster. That would be a very, very useful thing to have. Um, and I have seen a real barge with... It, I don't know what you'd call it, but it actually sticks right out here like this. Like that. Uh, let's join this up there. And of course it does, you know, kind of curve around a bit. And then it's got a bow thruster in here, in a, in a big sort of hole there. So we could use that sort of method for our bow thruster. Um, because, you know, if the hull is flat, we'd either have to have it sticking underneath or out the side somewhere, you know, uh, and this might actually be a very good place to put it, so it doesn't actually make us, you know, draw any more uh, underneath the hull. We, we won't be any deeper, and then there's less risk of catching it on rocks and things like that. So let's leave that there for the moment. That'd be quite interesting, I think. Now, I was just thinking actually about, you know, accessibility around this deck here, because it might be easier, instead of jumping up and down these things, if we have stairs going on and off, and also we could have, you know, platforms going in between them as well of some kind. So that's something to think about, and they will fit at either end as well. That's nice. I'll leave that there. I think that's going to be really cool. Bit of extra detail, but also it's actually going to help. You know, it's going to be quite useful at the same time. I'm just doing some work over here on the bridge at the moment and uh, I might, you know, sort of bring a shelf out there so I can actually put the windows on in the first place. They are quite tricky to place down, aren't they, these things sometimes. Um, I'll have to bring it out even further, actually. Okay, so that's the centre of our bridge and then if we just bring these out the side... I don't know quite how wide to have this thing, but maybe if it's at least three, maybe five, to be honest. You might want to have five wide. Yeah, that's better. That's much better, isn't it? That's going to be a really nice open space to have a look at. And uh, we'll see if we can bring it round now using some of these uh, uh, triangular pieces as well, maybe. There we go. Check that out. So we've got really good visibility now um, all the way around left front and right as well that's fantastic and we'll probably have some windows at the back as well so we can see in every single direction i also want these to be a bit taller now what i normally do is at the top i put a vertical window which is let's see which window should we use here this one so it's just one high but it'll go like this and that just gives you a bit of extra headroom and visibility and then you can have the sort of uh, the blocks on top of that so I think that's a really good idea, actually. We'll try and stick with that. What I will do next is just get the narrow angled window and bring it round. Let's put symmetry mode back on. We'll do that here, and then we'll just bring the uh, the straight windows back as well. Nice. Look at that. Really good visibility. Really, really good. Do you know what? I'm not so happy, actually, with these rails here and that sort of thing. I'd like to have um, a place where you can walk around here. But I don't like how that looks, actually, so I will be changing this. We might keep them, we might not keep them, but, uh, you know, at least it's there as an idea, I suppose. I'm sure in the next video we'll probably work on that a bit anyway. Look at that, guys. I am so excited for this project. I really can't wait, actually. Um, of course, it's going to develop a lot over the next couple of episodes until it's ready to actually go. There's a lot of work to do, uh, but we are going to do it, and we are going to make that $10 million dollars in one haul however please do leave your suggestions guys if anyone has got any ideas anything you want me to add to this barge anything you want me to test out um, i'd love to hear it so uh, feel free to leave your comments down below and i'm sure between us we can make this a good one guys thank you so much for watching that's all we've got time for in this episode there's a lot more to come in the future of course thank you so much for watching please do uh, like and subscribe uh, if you've enjoyed the video um, i really really appreciate that it helps me out a lot thank you so much guys take care and i'll see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>